So today we are going to discuss tracing of stars in polar form. Now what are polar coordinates? We take a line OA, which is a fixed line, and this line is known as initial line. Now a line making angle theta with this line is called the radius factor. Now if P is the point whose coordinates are R theta, then R is the distance of the point P from O. And this angle is theta, taken in the anti-clockwise direction, which is known as positive sense. So, OA is the initial line, theta is known as vectorial angle, R is known as radius vector, and the point O is known as pole. Now, there are several steps for tracing the curve in polar form. First step is to find out symmetry. Now, how to find out symmetry? If in equation of the curve, we replace theta by minus theta and there is no change in equation of the curve, then the curve is symmetrical about the initial line. This whatever is the figure of the curve on the upper portion of OA, same will be below the line OA. That is what we mean by symmetrical about the initial line. Now, if we replace theta by pi minus theta, and if there is no change in equation of the curve, then the curve is symmetrical about the line theta is equal to pi by 2. There are other steps also for final symmetry, but we don't need them right now. Second step is find tangents at the pole. How do we find the tangents at the pole? At the pole we have r is equal to 0. So we put r is equal to 0 and thereby the values of theta will be tangents at the pole. And the third and last step is to form a table wherein we give values of theta, various values of theta depending upon the symmetry, and we find the corresponding values of R. And then we take all those points and join those points, and by symmetry we can draw the figure of the curve. We can draw the curve. Okay, let's take few examples that it will be clear. Let's take the first example. Trace the curve R is equal to A into 1 plus cos A. And this curve, if we replace by theta by minus theta, we see that cos of minus theta is cos theta. So there will be no change in equation of the curve. So therefore, curve is symmetrical about the initial line. Second step is to find out tangents at the pole. So we put R is equal to 0. When R is 0, we have A into 1 plus cos theta is 0. That means cos theta is equal to minus 1, so theta is equal to pi, which is a tangent at the pole. And the third step is to form a table. Because the curve is symmetrical about the initial line, so instead of taking all the values from 0 to 360 degrees, we'll just take value of theta from 0 to pi. So when theta is 0, r is 2a. Because we put theta 0 in here, we get cos 0 is 1, 1 plus 1, 2, so 2a. So when theta is 0, r is 2. When theta is 5 by 3, we get r is 3, 3 by 2a. When theta is 5 by 2, r comes out to be a. Theta 2 pi by 3, r is 3 by 2. When theta is 5, r is 0. So we take these points. Theta 0, r 2a. Theta 60 degrees, r is 3 by 2a. Theta is 5 by 2, r is a. Theta is 120 degree, R is A by 2, and when theta is pi, R is 0. So we join these points. Now because curve is symmetrical about the initial line, so therefore mirror image of this will be formed below the initial line. So this curve is known as cardioid. Let's take second example. Trace the curve R is equal to A into 1 minus cos theta. Now this curve is also symmetrical about the initial line because when we replace theta by minus theta, there is no change in equation of the curve. To find out tangents at the pole, we put r is equal to 0. So then we have cos theta is equal to 1, that means theta is equal to 0. And lastly, we form the table. Take value of theta from 0 to pi again in this case because curve is similar about the initial line. So when theta is 0, r is 0 because cos 0 is 1. Theta is pi by 3, r comes out to a by 2. Theta is pi by 2, r is a. Theta 2 pi by 3, r 3 by 2a. 
theta is pi r is 2. So 0, 0, pi by 3, a by 2, pi by 2, a, 2 pi by 3, 3 by 2, a, and pi by 2. So we join these points, we get shape of the upper portion of this curve is like this. And then we take the mirror image of this. So this is also known as convergence. Third example. Trace the curve r is equal to a into cos 2 theta. Now to check the symmetry, if we replace theta by minus theta, there is no change. So no change, that means curve is symmetrical about the initial. Number. And in this case, if we replace theta by pi minus theta, so cos of 2 pi minus 2 theta is again cos 2 theta, that means there will be no change in equation on the curve. So therefore, curve is symmetrical about line theta is equal to pi by 2. To find the angles of the pole, we put r is equal to 0. So cos 2 theta 0, that means 2 theta is plus minus pi by 2. So theta is plus minus pi by 4. So these are the tangents at the pole. Theta is equal to pi by 4 and theta is equal to minus pi by 4. Now we form a table. In this case, we shall take values of theta from 0 to pi by 2. Because curve is symmetrical about the initial line as well as about the line theta is equal to pi by 2. So when theta is 0, r is a. When theta is 30 degrees, r is a by 2. Theta pi by 4, r is 0. Theta pi by 3, r is minus a by 2. Theta is pi by 2, r is minus a. Now if you join this point, 0, a, this point. Theta pi by, pi by 4, it is a tangent. Theta pi by 6, r is a by 2. Pi by 3, minus a by 2. So if 60 degrees positive side, this way, then minus a by 2 is in the opposite direction. Similarly, when theta is pi by 2, r is minus a. So we join these points. Now we take symmetry into account. Curve is symmetrical about the initial line. So mirror image of this will be this, right, this portion. And similarly, mirror image of this portion will be like this. So this portion. And now we take symmetry about this. Theta is equal to pi by 2. So mirror image of this is this one. And Mirror image of this portion is this portion and about this one. So that is this one and this one. So we get four loops. So equation of the curve is r is equal to a cos 2 theta. So we are getting how many loops? Four loops are there. So in general, you remember this result. When n is odd, number of loops in the curve r is equal to a cos n theta or r is equal to a sin n theta is n. And when n is even, then number of loops, these curves is 2n. Okay. Let's take one more example. Trace the curve r is equal to a square cos 2 theta. Now, as in previous example, if we replace theta by minus theta, there is no change. So curve is symmetrical about the initial line. If we replace theta by pi minus theta, there is no change. So curve is symmetrical about the line theta is equal to pi by 2. To find the angles of the pole, we put r is equal to 0. So r0 means a square cos 2 theta is 0. That means cos 2 theta is 0. So 2 theta is plus minus pi by 2. So theta is plus minus pi by 4. So these are the tests. Theta pi by 4 and theta minus pi by 4. Now we form the table. We take values of theta from 0 to pi by 2 because curve is symmetrical about the initial end as well as about the line theta is equal to pi by 2. When theta is 0, r square is a square, so r will be plus minus a. I'm taking this positive square, so r is a. Theta pi by 6, r square is a square by 2, <coughs> r is a by root 2. Theta pi by 4, r square is 0, so r is also 0. Now, if we take theta is 60 degree, pi by 3, then r square will be minus a square. So now, r square cannot be negative, so therefore r will be imaginary. And similarly, when theta is 90 degrees, r square comes out to be minus a square. So again, r is imaginary. That means curve does not exist beyond the point, beyond the line theta pi by 4. That is equal to pi by 4 up to theta is equal to pi by 2. Means curve does not exist between this and this line. Now we join these points. So we will get this portion. right? Now take the mirror image of this. 
because curve is symmetrical on the initial line, and now because curve is symmetrical on theta is part by two, two, so therefore mirror image of this with respect to this line will be this. So this is the curve R square is to A square cos two theta. Thank you so much.